<coughs> Hello there, my friends. <coughs> As you can see, I'm doing what I do most of the time. Pathetic, I know, which is to lie in my bed all day long, vaping and listening to music. I mean, I know I've been ill, but I really do think I'm possibly the laziest man who ever existed. I mean, I'm in the prime of my life. I'm youthful and vigorous. I'm full of beans and it's all just going to waste. I guess it's uh, one of those things that happens when people uh, go on the dole and end up there for a very long time due to health problems, in my case, mental health and physical health now. Um, but anyway, last night was quite interesting. I spent the whole night wide awake, furiously writing. Must have written hundreds of pages. Just writing, 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 reading, 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 rereading, correcting, writing, writing. All about my experiences, uh, my journey, uh, my beliefs, my ideals, my hopes, my dreams, my problems, my concerns. Just put it all down there on... Uh, a notepad on my laptop and I'm not going to delete it because one of the things I do very often is delete things like I find something that I don't quite like about it and then I'll just erase it forever and I did this with a lot of my old videos as well sadly but to be fair they were mainly crap I think most of those videos I made when I was Mr. Ashtoes were really crap just me blabbing on about rubbish basically and I think I had good intentions, like I did want to help people, but there was no way I was in any position to advise or help anyone. I was just young, whippersnapper, wet behind the ears, didn't know anything really. I mean, I was really messing around with some potent, subtle energies at the time. I was drawing, consciously making an enormous effort, which you should not do, do not do this, to draw all my... Kundalini or Chi or Prana or whatever into my third eye. I believe this would result in me attaining enlightenment and I would meditate for at least three or four hours every day doing this and it resulted in this head pressure which over the years just got worse and worse and worse and now it's just agony and it feels like literally my skull's going to split open at any moment and it pushes against my eyes so it feels like my eyes are going to pop out and it just hurts so much and it just just really taints my uh, experience of life because it's a pain that's right there and it's just always with me and it never abates or improves or goes away at all no matter what I try I've tried all those uh, so-called Kundalini unblocking techniques they're all useless I bet they've never worked for anyone just crap the fact is hardly anyone except some Tibetan yogis who've been meditating all their lives in the Himalayas and know all the secrets of yoga. Perhaps some yogi somewhere in the Indian jungle, living in a hut, living on donations from the villagers. Or someone like Anthony the Great, a desert father who devoted his life to God. These kind of immensely uh, advanced mystical people they're the only ones who would know how to deal with this, but uh, the fact is, it's, there really is no information on this. Very few people have um, properly studied and explained the nature of Kundalini and how it rises up from the base of the spine during meditation and other uh, spiritual activities and its uh, relationship with the chakras and the meridians and the all these energy centers in the body and so on and so forth and uh, how it's responsible for the Kundalini syndrome manic psychosis psychotic episodes that many practitioners and aspiring yogis suffer from which I think I suffered from I think my psychosis back in 2011 was most probably Kundalini syndrome because I was practicing mindfulness so attentively and alertly and uh, precisely I mean I just I literally dived into the present moment and lost my mind 
it's like some great surge of energy and I just went totally nuts or either that or it's due to stress and repressing certain things certain fears and feelings of inadequacy and self-esteem problems I don't know well, it could have just been totally random I mean, it wasn't to do with drugs I never took drugs but it was uh, an immensely incredible experience but also very frightening and I ended up on a ward because of it and uh, since then my life has just been like Alice in Wonderland to be honest but anyway um so yeah I spent the whole night writing and I just want to say um if you have some problems in your life perhaps if you have mental health problems like schizoaffective disorder or schizophrenia so perhaps if you hear voices that are getting you down or making you afraid or unhappy one thing I suggest you do is uh, you can use a pen and paper or you can use a laptop or your smartphone just write things down just write down how you feel all your experiences and um, the things that upset you your problems and the things that make you feel happy and give you hope and all these different things write them all down and then um, read them and try and understand what's going on in your life and how you can improve things and uh, I like I said I did all that writing last night and I feel like I uh, understand things a little bit better but I'm still very confused this confusion never seems to leave me as well as this horrible black feeling of despair I often feel which seems to cling to the side of my heart or my soul even anyway I don't know and just brings me down all the time but um anyway yeah so um that's my video writing is awesome thank you for watching